boomers, get comfy, because this next hour is just for you. People try to put us to down. Just because we get around. This is Boomer Nation, the grooviest generation's best source for how to live, work, and play at your boomer best. Sponsored by AAA South Travel Services. Tell us what you like, and we'll tell you where to go. And by Winster.com, the new online social game site where friends help friends win prizes. This is Boomer Nation on Talk Radio 860 WGUL. Here's your host, Terry Benincasa. Welcome back to the second half of Boomer Nation. And here for her final appearance on the show is Michelle Kaplan with her feature, Let the Games Begin, wrapping things up with her advice on the power of virtual friendships. Michelle, welcome back. Thank you so much, Terry. Now, Michelle, the power of virtual friendships. Power of any friendship is is uh, indisputable. Is there is a different kind of power to virtual friendships, or is it similar to pers- you know friendships when you're yeah. right there together? Well, I think the benefits are probably similar in a lot of ways. Um, as you know, people who have strong friendships they age better, they recover better from illness, and have stronger immunity immune systems. They live longer. You know, there's so many. Uh, great things about having a, uh, a great social network and a positive group of friends to support you. Right. Um, but a lot of people, um, for whatever reason, can't um, make those friends in their um, in their community where they live or perhaps they're isolated or things like that. Sure. So, Some um, rural areas are very isolated. And, yeah, in right. rural areas and that type of thing. Um, and even if you just are kind of busy and you have a few minutes here or there to pop in and play a game and, and talk to some people, it's pretty nice. You know, it's sort of like picking sure. up the phone or – texting someone or that type of thing. So right. you, you get instant feedback from those people. So um, I think I think the benefits are similar, but the way you go about making these friendships are probably a little bit different, and um, the ease of, with which you can um, call on them for help is probably a little bit different as well. Okay, so g- tell us the differences. Yeah, yeah. So, um, so I think one of the things is when you're making friends online, um, the process is a bit similar. Like you, you make introductions, you, you kind of naturally gravitate towards people who are like-minded, who are maybe going through similar uh, life uh, circumstances that you are. Uh, you know, maybe you've just retired or you're into running or you, um, you know, like to write or, or whatever it may be. People seem to find each other, um, you know, that have similar interests and mm-hmm. that type of thing. And you let them know when you're going to the bathroom. Exactly. That's what I said last That's week. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you, you would do that to a real friend in real That's life. That's right. right? That's so, right. Excuse me, I'm going potty. Excuse me for a second. Yeah, or getting a glass of wine. Right? That's right. The wine. That's right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, and, and so, like with real friendships, you listen and you share and you make time for each other. So, whereas you might, um, you know, have a cup of coffee with a friend at Starbucks or something, um, online you might have to schedule that. So, say, I'll meet you at 2 o'clock on Winster and um, we'll play slots or something like that. Um, and then I think well, one of the things with being online, it may take a little bit longer to develop the trust that you have with a, a in-person friendship, you know, because you can't really see that person. Right. So you kind of have to learn a little bit more about them um, to develop that trust. But once you do, you really have a fantastic support system of people that you can call on 24 hours a day. <laughs> right. That's very true. That's the right. that's... You, you can't pick up the phone at 3 in the morning and call a friend and say, I can't sleep. You want to, you know, come over and yeah, play right. travel with me or something. <laughs> come over and give me a back rub. Right. Yeah. So, but you can do that online. So that's one of the great things because people are in different geographic regions and different time zones right. and things like that. So. You know, it really does help a lot. We had one player who um, was suffering from Parkinson's disease, and she couldn't sleep at night. I guess that's a side effect with Parkinson's. Mm. Yes, um, yes, it is. Mm. Yeah, so she's up during odd hours, and she said uh, Winster in particular was such a savior for her because um, she could log on any time, and there was always someone there she could play with. Um, and um, a lot of the people she knew, you know, these other night owls <laughs> yes. that were up um, at the same time as her, she right. developed friendships with so um you know that's something you couldn't do um to your neighbor or your friend in your community yeah you have one other story that i found wonderful uh that we have a little just a little bit of time for uh, the woman who lost weight oh yeah this is such a great story we had a woman um and i can say her name because she's been in some other um articles for us her name is jessica drake and she had ballooned to 600 pounds (gasps) because of some terrible health problems that she had sure that is so sad 
Yeah, and so she felt like she didn't want to leave her house because she was sort of embarrassed about the way she looked, and right. she felt that people were very judgmental towards yeah, her. They are. Yeah, <laughs> that's basic. Right. They yeah. are. Yeah. And so she found a kind of a support group on Winster, and she was able to lose two hundred seventy-five pounds. Wow! Who needs the biggest loser? Yeah, yeah Winster. There you go. And um, she qualified to get some surgery to have some excess skin removed that was giving her a lot of problems wow. and things like that. So she honestly said she didn't think she would have made it through the surgery. She had some complications afterwards right. um, without the support of her friends and Michelle. her Winster friends were emailing and, and what a and, wonderful yeah, story yeah. well you, now we're going to have to wrap it up but uh, oh. folks if you want to reach Michelle to ask her a question about online any kind of online socializing you can call it into our listener line and we'll make sure she gets it that's 877-999-1172 or you can email your question to experts at boomerradioshow.com and we'll make sure she gets it Michelle We've so enjoyed having you on the show. Come oh, back to you, visit Mary. again soon. I will. Please. Thank you so much. All right. Very good. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Hi, I'm Winnie, founder and host of Winster.com. I've invented a new game where people play together to win prizes. I love playing games online with my friends, but I like to play with them, not against them. That's why I created Winster, and you're invited to join in the fun. At Winster, you pick the prize you want to win, then play engaging, fun games until you win your prize. You win real prizes like movie tickets, magazine subscriptions, restaurant coupons, and Amazon gift certificates. And it's a great way to make new friends by playing free games. Right now, I'm playing for a free movie ticket, but I can select a different prize at any time. Everyone at Winster wins a prize, and the more we work together, the faster we win. Winster is a great way to have fun, make new friends, and win real prizes. Give it a try now, and I'll give you a big head start towards your first prize. See you soon at Winster.com. That's W-I-N-S-T-E-R, Winster.com.